it's like a flower that started when you plant a little seed and, and you watch it grow. It's pretty, but you know, you trim a little here. And, and Eddie just gelled. He developed, he matured. See, Eddie had it real rough. I had my dad, and my dad was still in shape when I started, and then I had Mondo, and we had Hector. But when Eddie started, he had nobody of the Guerreros. And my dad was there, but he was not really in the business anymore. And Eddie had to fight it, duke it out, and there was a lot of jealousies. And said, well, if we can't beat Gory and the other Guerreros, let's go for Eddie, because there was a lot of envy. That's what made part of Eddie. He, uh, he learned the hard way and, and, and uh, came through, man. Eddie was, whoa, he was, Eddie was rough. He wouldn't back down for nobody. Not even his big brother, you know, and you always respect the big brother. And he would, when he came down, he would challenge me, man. Come on. Let's go. Let's go for it. I call it a competition. We're always competitive, and, and especially against ourselves. That's the way my dad taught us. It's always been that way. I guess that's part of the reason that we are what we are, because we live it. We live it. Put it this way, man. I, 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 uh, I never told him I wish I could, but uh, I'm like I said, I was good, but I think he was better than I was. Eddie was, he was a master. He became a master. He became a sensei. Yes, he did. He was humble. You could feel it from him. He was a. Uh, he was an amazing human being. I miss him, man. I miss him. I miss him a lot. <laughs>